Hello everybody, in this video I will explain calculate module of correlation plus. I will show you how you can calculate linear mutual information and dynamical cross correlations from starting from a PDB file. Please pay attention that I have another video for, for version 0.2.0 but this is for version 0.2.1 there are some slight differences in the interface. Let's first check, do an LS here. We have just one file, a PDB file, 6FL9 in our folder. Now let's call correlation plus and with or without the help, it will give you a help menu basically. As you can see here, oops, here, this is 0.2.1 released candidate one. So there are some slight differences, as I said. So what can we do to get help for a particular module? You have to write correlation plus calculate that uh, dash H. As you can see, basically, you need first a PDB file, which we have. And then let's uh, let's do that. Let's make this P six FL nine. If I do just this, it will calculate normalized dynamical cross correlations. Please pay attention it, uh, to the word normalized. Okay. Now, as you can see, the output is NDTT uh, and the correlation is automatically selected as NDTT if you don't specify an option here. Now let's do ls again and ls list. As you can see now we have ndtc uh, dot that. Okay, I want to calculate normalized linear mutual information also. So I have to specify a type of the calculation and I will say nlmi. Please pay, uh, don't forget to put this n here. And if I say that, it will use 100 uh, ANM modes with a cutoff radius of 15 angstroms to calculate linear mutual information. Okay, it takes some time, but it's not a very long time. Uh, if you use more modes, of course, 1000 modes or a few thousand modes, it can take much more time. This is an option that you can always tune but i recommend if you just have a pdb file i recommend one uh, 100 modes that's in general sufficient uh, to calculate linear mutual information or uh, uh, dynamical cross cor correlations okay it's about to finish okay now let's do lsl as you can see we have here an lmi that uh, dot that and ndcc dot that two files we have two files these are full matrix format files let's see the, their content and the diagonal elements uh, should be one and dcc yes uh, you can see for from the here corner and let's try to find the second line okay now here okay in the se second element is also one so this is normalized what if you want to ls rt what if you want to calculate not normalized dynamical correlations or not normalized linear mutual information for linear mutual information you just have to remove the n and let's do now. Okay. It may take some time, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. By the way, it has uh, almost 600, uh, 1600 uh, residues. So it's normal if it takes a little bit of time. By the way, uh, our paper is already published and please, if you use this software, do not forget to cite this paper. Okay, now we are supposed to see a third file. 
Okay, let's see. Almost finish it. And uh, after that, I will show you the same for dynamical cross correlations also. Let's do LSL. Okay. As you can see, LS, let's say LRT by time. So, so this is our latest file, LMI. Let's see the values in LMI file. You will see that it doesn't start with one and all the other elements are, can be bigger or smaller than one. So it's not normalized. And the same we can do for DCC also. If you write just DCC, it's it means it's not normalized. Okay. And that's it. LS and RT again. As you can see here, our DCC file is also here. As I said, these files are uh, all the dead files here are in full matrix format. It is the simplest matrix format that uh, one can use. That was the reason. It's not uh, efficient in terms of storage, but uh, it's okay considering their size for this protein. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.